One year ago, this marsh was bare ground, didn't exist. Through restoration techniques, within one year, this is the natural vegetative response. So nature is truly an awesome force that brings us back tremendous wildlife habitat and environmental quality in darn near record time. All we've got to do is put the water back where it belongs and nature does the rest. It's truly an incredible force. Setting in the duck blinds that we've constructed out here, and uh, believe me, this is not the duck haven of America, but it's ours and it's out the back door and setting in the blind as the sun, or the sun comes up in the morning and the birds are flying around and you see in the, as twilight's coming and the, the ducks are starting to talk and there's all this quacking and the geese are starting to tune up, and you get this cacophony of duck and goose noise and it, it's, it, it's really neat. It's hard to describe unless you've really been there and I've heard it for a long time and I still get that excitement and as the birds start flying, and it, it's the things you see while you are duck hunting are, are just amazing. Uh, whether it's a bald eagle sailing over the marsh, which we've had, or the muskrats out there tuning around. Just a lot of different small things that really you can't experience sitting in front of the tube or looking out the window even. And you need to get out, and whether it's a September goose hunt when it's 80 degrees or it's a late November duck hunt when it's down below freezing. Uh, there's some aesthetics and it's just it's uh, something that I've always cherished and I, uh, I presume I continue to do that too. So. Well we're at the Maple River State Game Area just a little north of Lansing uh, right along US 127 and this is a river floodplain that uh, was formerly diked agricultural fields and now you've seen what these fields uh, can be restored to in terms of very productive wetlands. Uh, many species of ducks and geese will be out here in the spring on migration. We have a number of types of birds nest here. This is one of the most productive uh, waterfall production areas in the state of Michigan. Now, just so you see it, there's a goose on a nest right there. That's a goose. It's just hiding on us. It's one of those kind of strange symbiotic relationships the muskrats eat cattails, make their house out here in the middle of the marsh by building up the cattails in a mound. The geese need a place just out of the water and some place they can look around and look for predators. And uh, geese are pretty tough animals. A raccoon swims out and tries to challenge this goose. That raccoon's going to be a real sorry raccoon. He's going to get beat up. There are, there are eggs in the nest, probably four to six eggs. It takes them about 28 days to hatch, uh, maybe up to 30. Uh, the goose will lay one a day for about six days and uh, not sit on them. And then after the sixth day, either the male or the female will sit basically for the next 30 days. And they'll take turns and uh, out they come. And when they hatch, what's amazing about them is the day they hatch, they can eat on their own, swim on their own, walk on their own. Pretty precocious young kids. <laughs>